Hi friends, welcome back to All Stack Buds. Uh, this video about technical analysis too. Previously we have got to know about technical analysis. Uh, one video where we have studied about uh, what is technical analysis, why it is required for stock market, and the basics of the technical analysis like uh, what are charts, how we can represent different kind of charts, trends in a charts. Okay and repo, uh, support and uh, resistance levels etc ok e, this is also continuation to that video only ok here we are going to study about um, is volume is important to analyze the chart stock market and different kind of chart patterns moving averages basic indicators and gaps volume of a stock what is volume of a stock? Number of shares changed in hand particular period. What does it mean? Actually, uh, shares can be changed in both two ways. One is it can be sold or it can be bought. Okay. Some of these two is called as a volume of a stock. Not either of one. Okay. You should be clear of this. Okay. Mm, and, and don't don't think like. Uh, Volume is a sold, uh, sold, sold stocks or volume is a bought stock. Okay. And why it is important? It will give a confirmation that, uh, that, that there is a change in the trends. How it will give us that change, that confirmation? Yeah. Uh, for example, if there is a continuous long downtrend um, and if there is a sudden some bullish, bearish candle appears, then we can think that yeah, whether it's going to going to be uptrend we will get a doubt okay but by seeing that uh, volume we can get confirmation that if it is that volume stick is abnormal then we can get to know that yes this is going to be a change in a trend so like this we can use the volume volume of a stock to confirm the change in the trends that's it Yeah, if you see here is the today's chart only. You can see at this point, okay, uh, the price of a stock is increasing. Okay, from sideward trend it is going uptrend. Okay, by seeing this arrow, you can get a confirmation that uh, here the volume of a stock is increasing. Okay, uh, what are chart patterns? These are most reliable shapes in a chart. What they mean? The most reliable means these are most um, noticeable, noticeable shapes in charts so that the forecast is almost means which has forecast, forecast has 90% probability. Uh, there are different kinds of a chart patterns and a terminology names given to all those charts and it's your wish. Uh, if you are interested to study, you can study those things by inter in, if you search in internet, you can get those things uh, like double top reversals, double bottom reversals, triple top reversal, triple bottom reversals like that. These are different different nomenclature are there. Nothing is important. It's just important that you need to understand the market condition, how the market is responding. Then you can analyze any kind of a chart pattern. If you are able to analyze the chart pattern, then you need not to remember any kind of a chart patterns. That's my philosophy. <coughs> I think it's one of the successful <coughs> philosophy, I think. <coughs> okay. Double top reversal. See, here it is a double top reversal. Let's take here the price is moving up. At this point, it has came down. And again, it has gone up. And but it has came down here. Now you see, again it has gone sideward trends and here it tried to move up, but it doesn't move up. And it, here at, at that point, the stock price of a stock can't able to move up. Means it has a pressure to come down. Okay, that you have to understand by seeing that picture. Okay, that is simple. Now comes to. Okay, 
see from he here also it's going down and from this point it can't able to go down means the uptrend pressure is very high at this point it has gone up but uh, bullish bear people will try to pull it down but it, they can't able to manage to more than this point so they came up to this point then it has started moving up that you have to understand by seeing these pictures uh, if you can't able to understand these things then you just remember all these things that's better now come to moving averages what is moving average average price of price of a stock over a certain period simple definition you might have studied in your 10th standards or 6th 7th standards i think okay mm, and then how it will helpful to our stock market so let's see there are different kinds of stock markets uh, means sorry see have uh, uh, moving averages that is simple moving average and exponential moving average these are uh, two different types of moving average there might be different but i know these two and it is sufficient uh, to analyze a stock with these two moving averages and uh, uh, what these moving averages will give an in information is price of a stock market is varying okay it's not a constant it's varying but in which direction it's varying we we, we, we cannot sense it okay by using this moving averages we can sense it whether the price is moving upward or whether price is moving downwards okay whether it is in upward trend or whether it is downward trend okay before giving definitions let's move uh, let's see the difference between simple moving average and exponential moving average then we can discuss this too i think let's see this exponential moving average here it's moving like this see this is simple moving average this is moving like this 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 okay the main difference between these two is the exponential moving average curve is almost closer to the shape of the price chart price chart the simple moving chart is is just simple addition and division okay so it it may not be the same shape of the it may have rudge rough shape of that one okay this will give the smooth curve i generally prefer exponential moving average okay you people can use simple moving average also it doesn't mean that uh, you have to use exponential moving average okay both are useful only it's two different kinds of moving averages that's it you can use any one of these two let's come to indicator what does it indicate indicators actually when we have done some trading in stock market for example day trading we, we don't have that much time to do calculations whether that uh, stock is going up and down how fast it is chain trending moving up and down so for us they have predefined some calculation they have done some predefined calculations and these are called as indicators and by using these indicators we can measure money flow volatility trends momentum etc the basic indicators are sufficient to analyze the stock that's my philosophy the if you are good at basics then you can solve anything right obviously okay my basic indicators are moving average uh, convergence divergence and uh, relative strength, strength index average moving volume okay uh, moving average convergence divergence means it's a subtraction of short term exponential moving average and long term exponential moving average okay if the difference is positive then it is uptrend if the difference is negative then it is downtrend we just remember how you can use these indicators okay uh, relative strength index uh, it's a momentum indicator to identify oversold or overbought conditions for example if a stock is trending upwards uh, but you doesn't know uh, uh that whether it's going to go down or not okay you just bought it and suddenly it gone down then you have lost right in order to avoid these conditions you can use rsi relative strength index uh, this will give you overbought and oversold conditions okay if rsi is greater than 70 then it's called overbought condition if rsi is less than 30 that is called over, oversold condition okay and average value sorry it's a average moving volume 
ओके द एवरेज ऑफ ए वॉल्यूम ओवर सर्टन पीरियड इट्स सिंपल इट विल गिव ए जस्ट सम कैंड ऑफ ए कॉन्फिडेंस दैट या द आवर फोरकास्ट इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट दैट्स इट इट्स यूर विश वेदर टू यूज आर नॉट या दिस माई सिंपल ट्रेडिंग चार्ट ओके यू सी दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज विथ ट्वेंटी पीरियड ओके नाउ लेट्स कम टू एवरेज मूविंग वॉल्यूम सी वेन एवर देर इज अ ट्रेंड यू कैन सी द एवरेज मूविंग वॉल्यूम इज आलवेज मीन्स वॉल्यूम इज आलवेज ग्रेटर दैन एवरेज मूविंग वॉल्यूम हियर आल्सो देर इज अप ग्रोइंग डाउन हियर इज हप मीन्स हाई इट्स ट्रेंडिंग अप हियर वॉल्यूम इज ग्रेटर दैन एवरेज इज ट्रेंडिंग अप वॉल्यूम इज ग्रेटर दैन एवरेज वॉल्यूम इट्स जस्ट एनश्योर्स इट डजेंट गिव इंडिकेशन इट्स एनश्योर्स ओके नो लेट्स कम टू मूविंग एवरेज मूविंग एवरेज कन्वर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस here it is trending up it is positive it's trending down negative it's trending up positive trending down negative yeah trending up positive and now let's come to rsi see he, he if you see at this point he it has a more than 80 means this is overbought so condition okay uh, try to avoid to buy at this point and now let's see Let's come to here. It's a oversold condition. Here you can buy, but just see there is a up, up signal is there. Buy at this point. Don't buy at this point. Okay. That's it. Gaps. Gaps are no trade areas in a price charts. This occurs between close of the day and opening of the next day. These these are generally common common gaps. These are will filled by by the day itself or one or two days itself. but some gaps are uh, formed due to um, fundamental changes in that company means uh, fundamental figures of a company are changed then there might be some gap in the um, price chart uh, that is all about and we need not to worry about all the fundamentals because we are doing technical analysis we need not to worry about all those things okay in conclusion yeah here it is come to end of technical analysis and now we are familiar with the technical analysis what are the tools in technical analysis how to use them and our task is to mix means combine all those things and develop a strategy what is a strategy why it's required and how it's going to helpful to us that we will discuss in the next video thank you guys thank you guys please watch next video of make make money strategy please do like please do like or share your experience by comments